Okay, uh, I don't know much about satellites beyond the broadcast satellites we use here, mm -hmm. but uh, I do know that there is now a bill that is about to become law. Mm -hmm. It's just awaiting the signature of the president. Uh, what are the chances that, uh, well, actually it's as good as passed, right? If, even if he doesn't sign it, unless he vetoes it, which is uh, yeah, uh, the uh, bicameral committee submitted it uh, already, and so it is uh, due for enrollment and for signature. Mm -hmm. And uh, what exactly would a filsa? That's mm -hmm. how it's going to be called, right? Mm -hmm. how, what space. exactly will it encompass? Well, uh, there will be. Uh, policy development uh, component and the utilization component. There will be an R&D, definitely, component. They will also be responsible for the human resource development for the space uh, uh, sector. Yeah. And uh, they will take care also of uh, educating the people about it. And uh, uh, our international collaboration in space will be through the Philippine Space Agency. Okay, people are thinking that this will be like our NASA. Mm. Is that a dream or is that actually well, the objective? The one ultimate uh, dream that we have is to have our own uh, launching uh, uh, pad because at the moment uh, uh, the satellites that we have so, uh, so far uh, launched, this is uh, the Wata 1, the Wata 2 and the Maya, Maya 1, uh, were launched through either to the NASA uh, facility or to the Japanese uh, uh, facility. Mm. Right. Mr. Secretary, uh, what, why, why would it be important to Filipinos to have a space agency? Uh, I mean, I ask a question from mm. the point of view of ordinary people who yes. would have problems with the internet, with mm -mm. traffic, mm -mm. Uh, <laughs> with uh, things breaking down left and right. Oh, no, uh, and, dream breaker. And, okay. I, I, but I, I, no, I, I understand <laughs> in, uh, where you're coming from, but mm -mm. explain to us uh, what is the significance of a space agency, oh, not just yeah. in terms of putting people out into outer space, but from space looking down? Yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, the utilization of space uh, technology mm -hmm. is now uh, widespread. I mean, all yes. countries are uh, into it, and uh, we need to uh, have our place in that uh, in that system. Uh, so even in the development of uh, and implementation of international guidelines on space utilization, we need to have a voice. Okay, mm. and uh, of course uh, we cannot uh, forever be dependent on the satellites of uh, other countries, although mm -hmm. we still make use of them. So we need to have our own also uh, for security purposes. And uh, uh, you know there are so many applications, in particular in the Philippines. So uh, Luci mentioned earlier the broadcast uh, mm -hmm. uh, communications part, but that was really the earliest uh, applications. Mm -hmm. So now uh, the remote sensing part is very important because. As as you mentioned in the opening, it is needed by our defense department, it's needed by our agriculture, environment and natural resources, and even our, uh, you know, weather, weather. weather yes. uh, mm -hmm. bureau. Uh -oh. So just to clarify, we're not actually thinking, because if you say NASA, people are thinking mm. of astronauts. Walking in space. Or oh, that's that's oh. a long way of... It's so a long way, but it's, it's not really... It, it's part of uh, the objective. It's part of the dream. <laughs> okay, but but in the meantime, your immediate objective of this bill is to put a sat to have our own launching pad for our satellites for yes. weather monitoring, for monitoring our, our territorial uh -oh. area, the for hazards. crops uh -oh. and uh, crops. Yes, yeah. right. And of right. course, the you know the security, security national purposes. security, oh. and of course telecommunications. So, mm -hmm. bilis ba yung aming internet? Yan ang tatanungin ng mga tao. Mm, basically, our immediate uh, goal is uh, to be able to uh, assemble the satellites right here. Because mm -hmm. so far, mm -hmm. the Wata 1, the Wata 2, and the Maya 1, even if we have already deployed Filipino engineers in its assembly, yes. uh, it we're still assembled in Japan, in uh, Tohoku oh. University, oh. where many of our uh, scholars, we, we have been sending around 50 scholars uh, for, uh, for in preparation for this, and many of them went to Hokkaido, Tohoku, and uh, Kyushu uh, mm -hmm. University. But now we are exploring other uh, uh, countries but it also. Was our